We're a Canadian couple traveling 10 days through Ireland. Today we hit one of our favorite stops on our road trip and the best part, it wasn't even planned. But first, it's time to leave Dublin and head to the countryside. Good morning from bright and sunny Dublin. I can't believe the weather that we're having after the crazy rain we've had the last two days. It's so nice, nice little switch up. We are getting out of the city today. That's... We are getting out of the city. We are not spending all of our time in Dublin. I think we got a little taste of it yesterday, driving up through Northern Ireland and loved what we saw. Here's what the route looks like today. We're currently, Josh is navigating his way out of Dublin. I love this car for the small routes that we have to drive. Suzuki Swift. <laughs> it is so small that I have to duck like this to see the stoplights. <laughs> but if it's your first time renting a vehicle in Ireland, first things first, we were literally boarding our plane in Toronto when we found this out that our credit card company doesn't actually cover rental cars in Ireland. It's fine in the UK, it's fine in a lot of other places in Europe, but it doesn't cover Ireland. So we found that out and canceled our Hertz rental vehicle. And then we were Googling alternatives and we ended up going with this place called New Car. New Way. New Way, New Way. And it's a little bit more expensive and by a little bit, I wanna say it's about twice as much as we paid <laughs> we for the vehicle originally with Hertz. However, if you rent in Canada, then you're kind of used to the price anyway. All inclusive though. So mm -hmm. the only thing we need to worry about is losing the key. Which I've got it, it's in the ignition. <laughs> and accidentally filling it up with diesel. Which we Which we won't do. We don't, we don't do that. <laughs> Other than that, you are covered for any ding, scratch, if someone hits you, if you hit someone. And it's such peace of mind that I would absolutely recommend New, going with new, new way. way new way now we get to just enjoy the drive well you get to i get to enjoy the drive he has to do the driving <laughs> i love driving this is going to be super fun and i'm excited to get to the countryside our final destination is a town called kinsale in county cork it looks absolutely picturesque um, it came highly recommended in every blog post that i read so that's where we're heading. But before that, there's a couple of places we're stopping at. Number one, there's this place called Kildare. <laughs> there's a spot called Kildare Village and it's, hello, <laughs> you're coming for a ride with us. As I was saying, Kildare Village, which is like an outlets village. And there is a barber outlet there. Ever since we went to Scotland and England last year, um, I have wanted a barber jacket so bad. They're very expensive back home for us. We'll see if there's anything worth getting there. After that, we're gonna drive to Rock of Cashel, um, which are like ruins. No, you're good in this one. Am Cause I that's actually? a bus lane. But look at this. No, I think and, you're- oh, oh, yeah, yeah, he's turning, he's turning. Sure. That's our new buddy. And then our final destination is gonna be Kinsale. I think we're gonna take it pretty easy today. Find a pub go for a walk. We will see you in probably some pretty B-roll right here. <laughs> okay. Just leaving the outlet. Lily was successful, by the way. Congratulations. This is hands down the nicest outlet I've ever been to. And there's ruins normally we don't do a ton of shopping when we go on trips like this but i would actually recommend stopping in here especially if you're looking for a barber jacket you will be seeing me in this for the rest of the trip <laughs> <laughs> and she did good on price so uh it's a thumbs up for me as well one of the best parts of ireland there are blackberries everywhere like my dad would lose it if he was here this is our Just favorite free snacks they're so good. I was a little bit worried about you eating the blackberries yesterday at Giants Causeway because it's a national trust site. They throw you in jail for they, that. They, the king owns the blackberry. Technically, I ate the king's blackberries yesterday in Northern <laughs> Ireland. Not in the UK anymore. It's I just... can have as many blackberries as I like. <laughs> After a very successful shopping trip, we made our way over to Cashel to do the famous Rock of Cashel. And the thing with us is we don't really do a lot of history 
research before we go to these places. Apparently this is the place that St. Patrick converted the king to Christianity and then in a mountain that's like 30 kilometers north banished Satan from. So <laughs> lots of history. It was super cool driving up to it. It just kind of like comes out of nowhere when you turn the bend and even as you're walking through town it kind of reminds me of Edinburgh Castle where like from every corner of town you can kind of see it. And even now, you see it looming over the town. Very cool. I'm, I am very excited to see this one. This is by far the most impressive castle we've been to since we made it to Ireland. The most beautiful, craziest ruin I've ever been to in my life. I think I can say that confidently. And the history here is amazing. We were kind of tagging on to tours, looking around, listening, and what did we learn? Most of this cathedral was stripped of its Catholic influence because of the crown of England. I'm really glad we stopped here. We honestly didn't even think. It wasn't a part of the plan, but I'm glad that it turned out. This was amazing. If you come here, you have to come. Overall, you gotta come here. With a castle that's this old, there's so many funny facts. Like one of them was the first initial choir was given like free things everywhere but then when they foot the bill to the archbishop he fired them because they spent too much of his money on beer kind of just thought we were going to visit a castle definitely worth a stop there's so much put into this place there's so much you can get out of it when you come join a tour and tours are a part of your admission we paid like eight euro each to come here and for something that's so amazing it was easily the cheapest tour we've done on this trip big yes big good yeah thumbs up <laughs> We are at Hansy's Ice Cream, which happens to be right next door. This is some of the smoothest, creamiest ice cream I've ever had. It's like all made here, all dairy. Normally we get different flavors to share. He allowed us to try every flavor. And we're both like, it's gotta be salted caramel. This is so delicious. We have made it to Kinsale. That was uh, quite the drive. It was, you know, round and about and around. It actually reminded me a lot of driving in the Lakes District. And this is absolutely beautiful. We're gonna go to a pub, grab some food. Look at her and her new barber. Wow. First, we fish cake. Well, now that we're on the coast, we we got to do more seafood. No fish. No dip? Hold on. <laughs> oh, no. What has he, what have you done? Cheers. Mmm. Fish and chips, of course. And seafood chowder. This is oh. the best chowder. Maybe I've had. Oh yeah. Okay.